And it should be the neutrals' delight as well as the supporters' delight. What a treat we have in store for you. Arsenal against Manchester City. They're just about ready to play. And the action is live right here on EA TV. A splendid day for football here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Good luck. Good game. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good game. Thanks a lot. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Bye. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Rodri plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And the match begins. City move it forward with purpose. It has to be! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Ballard. Austin Trusty. Trevor Shalaba. Benjamin Henrichs. Well, the table confirms that it has come down to this pretty straightforward equation. Oh, through a goal here, Derek. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. short one the inside route looking promising well he failed to get it away properly and in the end no damage done Arsenal targeting a victory after drawing in the last match against Spurs how do you think this one will go Stuart well they were well, tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially we're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. <laughs> Going well. Yes, time to play is over. And possibilities here. It looks promising. Can he put them in front? 
Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. It's a short one. Oh, it's cheeky. And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. Plenty of the talk from the pundits has centred around Jordi Alba. And the reports have been confirmed. He has decided to end what's been a brilliant career at the end of this season. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what a player he's been, and still is. Did he up? Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Harrison. Martin Odegaard. It's a pressure high up the pitch. Pumps clear. Could be a chance to break here. Sterling. To take the lead. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Ezzy. And he read it superbly. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. It was a penalty for Leicester City. People went the right way, but he made it look so simple and easy. It hit the back of the net. Chance to finish. Oh, great block. Tielemans. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Over the top towards Raheem Sterling. Sterling. Chouameni. It needs an accurate cross. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Tielemans, Foden, cross-fired over, able to deal with the threat. Rodri, and the keeper more than equal to the task. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So into the second half, and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. Aurelien Chouameni. And a long way out here. He got a good palm on it. Corner it is to City. Maybe an opportunity for them to extend their lead. 
favouring the short one. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Sterling. And a long way out. Really good diving save. Can someone get on the end of this? It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. So, 2-0 now. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. He's played it out over the touchline, so a throw-in to restart things. And Manchester City going to the bench, a double substitution here. And space for the cross. And firing it to the near post. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And Manchester City will go to their bench. So the action continues and City really cantering to victory here. Right, let's quickly join Alex Scott because Alex, I understand there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. It's a goal for Norwich City. The free kick was well executed. A real opening now. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Oh, denied by the post. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Well, to Alex, apologies for having to interrupt you just then. To confirm, Norwich did score in that match. But an uphill climb it is. They're down by three goals to one. What a save! <laughs> Over it comes. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Oh, good vision. And now waiting to pounce. Well, placement over power, but it didn't work out for him. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. 
strong but fair tackle. Now a decent position. It might be. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. And breaking at pace with Menace. Rodri. Phil Foden now. Anthony Martial. Very comfortable when in possession. Will he play it in? And the referee says corner kick. So making the substitution now. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. And he's fired over the corner. And the danger is averted. Anthony Martial. Foden. Rodri. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them, your assessment. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. And the match begins.